Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over some easy ways to add more color to your wardrobe. As a disclaimer, today's video does contain a paid partnership with Organic Basics, a brand which I have been an ambassador for for a couple of years and a brand that I've known and loved for years. Simply put, it's my go-to brand for ethically made basics. So as some of you guys might know, I am a trained color consultant. I am certified through Color Me Beautiful. And so it's my job to help my clients curate a color palette that not only flatters them, but that also makes them feel more confident in wearing more colors and choosing colors and sort of take some mystery out of adding colors to your wardrobe, basically. If you know me and if you've been following me for some years, you know that I love my neutrals, I love my monochrome outfits, and I still very much love this way of dressing. Um, especially a neutral color palette is something that will always be very close to my heart. Um, I just find it very chic and very effortless, very easy to combine colors with a palette like that. However, since I became a certified color consultant, it did definitely take out the mystery of wearing colors and adding colors to my wardrobe. And today I enjoy it a lot. So like I just mentioned today, I wanted to share some easy ways on how you can add more color to your wardrobe without feeling overwhelmed. Like I just mentioned, today's video is sponsored by Organic Basics, which is definitely my go-to brand for ethically made basics. And they have been for years, which is also why I'm super honored to be an ambassador for them. Not only do I find their quality impeccable, they also have lots of third-party certifications on their materials, which is always a good navigator for you as a consumer to make sure that this brand is actually practicing what they preach. Today I wanted to share with you their newest range of swimwear from their Re-Swim collection. I have their bathing suit in black and their bikini in navy already and I love those pieces very much both for trips to the beach but also just when we're going to the local indoor swimming pool with our girl. Now these are of course very classic colors. If you want to try something new, some more slightly bold colors this year, they did recently add some pretty amazing pieces that you can easily mix and match as well. So for example, if you already have that blue bikini, you could add a different bottom or top in a new color and like that be able to create different combinations depending on what you're in the mood for. I also generally think that when it comes to swimsuits you can be a little bit more bold with color and it's a nice way to dip your toes into actually wearing more color if it's all new to you. The re-swim range is made from post-consumer plastic waste and the materials are GRS certified as well so if you're looking for some comfortable ethically made swimwear organic basics is a good place to turn to and i'll make sure to leave a discount code for you guys down below tip number one is to go for basics just in a color update now the great thing about this approach is that you would be buying an item that you already know that you already feel comfortable styling um, you know it already fits seamlessly into your wardrobe and you know what kind of styling options you have with this specific piece But you would just be buying it in a color update So that could be something like your favorite basic t-shirt in a new color or your favorite basic shirt Maybe a blazer in a new fresh color um, And you could even take it one step further and then go for a color that would be perfect for a specific season as well so during spring and summer, it's always nice to go for lighter colors. And of course, because it reflects the light a bit more when it's really hot and sunny, it's always nice to go for something a bit lighter. Tip number two is to start small. So focus on accent colors. So start with a color pop here and there if it's completely new to you to wear color at all. It's a great way to dip your toes and make sure again that you don't get carried away with swimsuits like the ones that i've already showed you guys from organic basics they've made some really nice color updates this year um, i think that you can be a little bit more bold and it's a fun way to sort of explore how it feels wearing more color and you can be a bit more experimental there without again feeling completely overwhelmed or like you get carried away so if you wanted to add an, an accent color to your wardrobe that could of course be done by adding again a basic 
um, item in a color update like I mentioned before or you could go for an accessory like a bag in some sort of a bold color. If you want to stick with like the classic colors for accessories I would definitely recommend you guys to make sure that you match the color of your bags with your belts and your shoes. Um, that would be one way to ensure harmony within your wardrobe and to make sure that you always have some pieces that would go nice together. Um, I definitely don't believe that you have to match the belt and your shoes every time. And I don't believe that you have to match the belt and the bag every time in every outfit either. You can definitely play around with it so long as there's some other color coherence in the outfit somehow. It's definitely a way to make sure that the options you leave out for yourself will not feel overwhelming, but will ensure that it feels like an effortless um, situation every time you want to create a nice outfit. So make sure that when you buy belts and bags that you can sort of match, color match those pieces. Tip number four, and I had to sneak this one in here, is to get a professional color analysis. Again, I mentioned this because I'm a certified color consultant myself. I've witnessed how much of a difference this makes. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I love my job. I love seeing my clients in their best colors, but I also love the way the effect that it has on them. So this is a great way to get some validation behind why certain colors work out for you and others don't. It's a great way to get some theoretic guidance on how to create a color palette for your wardrobe as well. And I just want to highlight that anyone can wear any color they want. Like we're not telling people that you can't wear this or that. This is simply a way to help you guys, especially if you find it to be like a huge mystery to add colors to your wardrobe or you always feel super overwhelmed. So you end up always choosing the same like safe black, white and beige colors, but in reality you'd really love to wear more colors. Getting a professional color analysis is a great way to kickstart actually being able to wear more colors without feeling overwhelmed and also to make sure that you have some combinations that you can turn to um, that will be just as effortless and timeless as any like other neutral color palette. And it's a great way to figure out not only what kind of colors will flatter you when it comes to clothing, but also what kind of makeup colors to go for. So it's sort of a good all around consultation to get basically. Wearing colors and looking at colors have such a huge impact on our mood. And there's a lot of like psychology behind colors and the meaning of colors as well, which if you look at your profession or your lifestyle, it's always nice to figure out what kind of colors would be best for you to go for there. The final tip is to choose a signature color. So that could be your favorite color. To me, that is blue. I love all shades of blue, always have. And it's a color that looks very flattering on me, not only because I'm leaning slightly more towards a cool color type, but also because I have blue eyes. So if everything else fails, if you find this to be super overwhelming, have a look at your eye color and then invest in some pieces that match your eye color. That's always a nice way to add more color to your wardrobe without feeling completely overwhelmed or without having the color analysis done if you don't have the budget for that. So I would say that always works and especially if you have a good base of like monochrome colors and basic like neutral colors within your wardrobe, it's nice to just add a signature color like that within your wardrobe. Um, it will be easy for you to style everything. You don't have to think about what will go with what because everything can basically be styled with each other. So yeah, a signature color is a great way to start if this is completely new to you. So there you have it guys, five easy ways to add more color to your wardrobe. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Organic Basics for working with me on yet another video. It's a pleasure as always. If you guys are looking to add some ethically made basics, perhaps in a color update to your wardrobe, I will leave a discount code to Organic Basics in the description box down below. With that, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and I will see you all very soon for another video. Bye guys.